We were doing a video the other day that you may have seen regarding uh, how to make sure that your blue hydrangeas stay blue or if they're pink, how do you convert them back from pink to being the blue colour you ordered. And, uh, and one of the things she brought up was she'd heard that people were weeing on their hydrangeas uh, in order to make the ground more acidic. Um, in order to promote that blue colour because the, 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 the blue hydrangeas require aluminium ions to be present uh, in order to create the blue pigment and in alkaline conditions that aluminium is locked up and uh, made unavailable to the plant. Um, but it's all brought another question. I tell you what, before I go any further, let me just watch that clip with you. And then back fill in with the ericaceous Okay. Pump. Now Lorna, do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not a very PC question, but I've heard in order to keep the acidity, pH, some people uh -huh. we on their hydrangeas. We we on the plant? Or no, we, around, the soil around the soil to keep the acidity low, to keep the pH, to keep it blue. Is that true and does it work? Okay, <clears throat> well, okay, well... I haven't heard of that before, so I don't really know. I, I would have I would have a little worry on it because it all depends on how good your liver function is. <laughs> if, if, if you would think it'd be slightly acidic, it would make the soil more acidic. Is urine acidic? I don't know. Oh, urine I would acidic. think I'd so. I'd have to find that out. We might need to uh, sort of add that to this video as a little clip. <laughs> um, but what I would suggest, so it has a lot of ammonia in it. Yeah, and, uh, and 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 ammonia is going to be quite toxic. Yeah, it will cause root damage. Now, um, it's like bird poop, isn't it? You'd think it's a bad idea, but it is something that I've been asked in the past, and I, uh, people have said. So I don't know. <laughs> it could be an old wife's tale, but definitely people uh, uh, do ask that question. I think if your if your liver function is working well, then there shouldn't be so much ammonia in it. And uh, do you want to pull it up a bit? Um, but ammonia breaks down to, um, I think it's uh, nitrate and then nitrite. Now nitrite is, uh, is, uh, is, is, an, is quite available for plants to take up, you know, for its nitrogen. I think, I'm going to say no, yeah. but if I find out that the answer is yes, then I'll tack that on to the end of this video. That's a, it's a great question and uh, I'm afraid <laughs> in, in all my years, I've, <laughs> Never come across we'll take that. that as a you don't. Okay. I'd say, <laughs> I'd say uh, yeah, don't. don't. <laughs> to continue, and yes, I know I've changed my shirt and I've put my glasses down and can't find them. That's not important. What is important is to continue to answer the question is urine a good fertilizer for your plants? Well, it can be because uh, urine contains NPK. And if you know anything about fertilizers, these are the macronutrients, phosphorus, potassium, and nitrogen that are essential to plant growth. But also urine contains a load of micronutrients, which I'm not gonna reel off because there's so many of them. But uh, regarding nutrition, yes, there are nutrients in there that are valuable to growing your plant. The trouble is you can't just chuck them on because uh, urine is far too rich and you can cause damage burning the tips of your plant's roots. And that doesn't do you any good because as uh, Darwin postulated, the roots of your plant are akin to the brain. Let's continue. So we've established that urine does contain plenty of uh, valuable nutrients for your plants, but how do you apply it? Because you can't just wee on it because all that's gonna do really over time is damage uh, the roots and damage your plant and you know it does that especially if you've got a dog an elderly dog It will go into the garden have a wee in the lawn and what happens it <laughs> Totally kills off all the roots that it touches uh, Yes in time you do get uh, some some vigorous growth around the outside like a little fairy ring uh, But that does take time and plus it doesn't actually uh, miraculously encourage your uh, dead plants to come back to life um, so to apply it it's very simple because it's very strong all you have to do is dilute your urine and you dilute your urine uh, one part urine to 10 to 15 parts water and that is it that is it so to answer the question can you use urine as a plant fertilizer yes you can and also just as a little extra you can use urine as a soil acidifier because the urea 
and the ammonia that's in urine as that breaks down by bacteria in the soil it uh, converts some of that nitrogen into a nitric acid very mild form and now over time slowly acidifies your soil so anyway thank you for watching and if you've got any comments or anything you'd like to add to the to to, to this uh, question then please leave them in the comments we would love to hear from you anyway thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe